Hey guys, it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a social sharing logo with Canva and then how to upload that logo to your Squarespace website. So you might not have heard of the term social sharing logo before and that's especially if you're not like a web designer or you do a lot of design work on the side and that's totally okay. But you probably know what they are once you see it in action. So basically, the social sharing logo is what displays on social networks, like particularly on Facebook in most cases, anytime you post a URL link to your website. So I've got a little screenshot up here in the middle of the page, and this is just a clip from Facebook. So uh, let's say that I have put a link to the archives page on my website, so charlotteohara.ca slash archives, and I'm posting this on Facebook. And you see this little image here on the left hand side with the, you know, the gold exterior and the CO in the middle, like that right there that we're looking at, the image that's associated with the archives page, that is the social sharing logo. All right, so this feature, it's optional, as you'll see when I show you how to set it up on the back end of Squarespace, but it really is recommended that you just take a couple minutes to design a social sharing logo and then upload it to your Squarespace website. And we do this for a couple reasons. First of all, it makes for a much better presentation of your website and anytime you're linking to content because it's, you know, an image that's properly formatted to fit this space here. You know, it's the right dimensions, it's clean and crisp and um, you know it really just presents a good version of your website when it's shared on a platform like Facebook um, and it also just shows that you're being thoughtful and intentional with your design and you're not skipping over some of these smaller design elements. And finally the last reason why it's really useful to set up a social sharing logo in Squarespace it's because not all pages on your website will necessarily have an image on it like for example the archives page on my website here let, let me show you you can see it's all just text right like there isn't an image here so when I'm trying to pull up this um, you know, if I was just linking to charlotteohara.ca slash archives, normally there wouldn't be an image to show, but at least this way, when I have the social sharing logo set up, then there is an image to display there. All right, so that was a little long-winded, but now that you know what the social sharing logo is, I'm gonna show you how to very quickly design one in Canva. So if you're not familiar with it, Canva is a free design tool. It's a little bit like a Photoshop or, you know, any of the other creative suite things. Um, so it's free service, which is really great. And I love it and I use it all the time. So with Canva, you're going to start off by logging in or creating an account if you don't have one already. And then you're going to go to create a design here, which means you'll land on a page that looks like this. Next up, you're going to click use custom dimensions in the top right hand corner. And we're going to put in the dimensions 200 by 200. And that's because this is the dimensions that Facebook recommends you use. And if you check on the Squarespace website, like their, you know, their recommended sizing, that's the one that they use. So we'll do those dimensions right now. All right. And so now if we're going to do a very simple design here, let's just do a background color. I like that one. And then let's say I'm going to put a little bit of text over. I'm just going to do CO for my initials, which are, you know, CO for Charlotte O'Hara. Um, and that will be nice and simple. So I'm just going to put that in the squared bit. 80. Let's see, will that fit? Yep. Okay, great. Oopsies. There we go. All right, and so I'm gonna make it a white color because that looks nice on the gold background. And then I'm gonna switch the font to be Lato because I just really like Lato. There we go. All right, and so this is what we're gonna use just as a very, very simple social sharing logo to start. But you know, you can really design it however you want. So I'm gonna name it CO Social Sharing Logo. And then to download it, I'm going to keep it in the recommended PNG file. So just a simple download there, and you'll see that it will prepare itself in just a second. All right, awesome. So there it is. Okay, so now that we're ready to actually upload the social sharing logo that we just created to the Squarespace website, 
you're going to start off here. So what I've done is just for this video's tutorial sake, I've created a brand new demo website and I believe I'm using the Hayden template here, but you can use whichever one you want. All right. So from the home menu here on the left hand side, you're going to click design, then logo and title. And you're going to scroll down to where it says social sharing logo. So remember I said before that this is optional. Well, it says so again by Squarespace, but I really do recommend that you take just a couple minutes to create your own social sharing logo. All right, then I'm going to drag this over um, onto the, you know, the upload section here, which it's going to do. All right, and you can see it's in place. And once it's finished, I'm going to click save. And then there we go. It's all done. So uh, just really, really quickly here while I'm in this area, I wanted to mention that below in the video description, I've linked to another video tutorial I have that's all about creating a favicon or browser icon also using Canva. So if you're interested in doing that while you're at it, be sure to check out the linked video in the description below. All right, so um, final thing here about this social sharing logo is that if you share a page on your website, um, you know, as I mentioned before, like to a link on Facebook that has, um, if, if the page doesn't have an image, like I mentioned, then you're gonna want to make sure that this is in place because it will connect with it. But however, if you do share a page on your website that does have an image, like for example, if you're using a blog post that has an image, or if you have products for sale, then all of the thumbnails that are associated with either those blog posts or with those products will display the thumbnail instead of the social sharing logo. And that just makes a lot more sense because it's, you know, relevant image to the content and, you know, it would make way more sense to share those particular thumbnails than to just share the, you know, the default social sharing logo when in fact we've already specified what the thumbnail is. All right, so as you can see, it's really, really easy to use Canva to create the social sharing logo. And then once you've got that done, it you know just takes a really quick second to upload it to your Squarespace website. So hopefully you can do that today and let me know how it goes. So as always, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and that it helped you out. If you did like it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and you can almost also hit the subscribe button down below or leave a comment. And you can share the video as well on social media or anything. And if you do that, be sure to tag me and my name on Twitter is at Lottie O'Hara. And if you're interested in more video tutorials or content about Squarespace, website design and development, tech tips or anything else like that, be sure to check out my website, which is www.charlotteohara.ca. Thanks so much for watching this video. Bye now.